Hi guys. On the table in front of me, I have a TV screen laying. It's a Samsung 40 inch EH5000R. And this screen does not show any picture. It gives you a melody that you turned it on and the LEDs would work. I'm not even telling you that I'm trying to attempt to repair it because I already just repaired it. But what I find very, very interesting is what actually happened. And I would never believe that something like this could be. Maybe you can tell me how something like this can even happen. Okay, so let's open the TV and I show you what I have done. It's a power supply unit which failed. But as I said, very interesting case. So here's the power supply unit of the TV. Immediately what I saw was a burn mark here on the board. But interestingly, there is no component there. The only thing was, was there, I will show you this uh, in detail, were two jumpers. So this is just a wire which goes from there to there and then is connected to another one which goes 90 degrees the other way. And nothing else. So these jumpers, these are just metal uh, pieces of wire and one of them just burned off. I took my multimeter and measured all components. They're all working. There's no shorts on the board. Absolutely nothing other than a burned jumper. So how can that jumper burn out there? And that is really a mystery to me because those jumpers, they must be from the design completely over uh, rated anyway. So what sort of currents can go there that those sort of jumpers, as you can see them here everywhere, can burn out. Okay, let me show you how this looks from the close shot. Here, this is this area you see uh, by the markings here on the board, a jumper this way and this one was burned here and then the jumper the other way. And behind on the PCB there's only a trace which is connecting these two jumpers together. And that's already, there is no other component in this area which is involved into this. And so what I did, I just made my own jumper now from there to here. And yeah, I plugged in the PSU and the screen was again working. So very, very mysterious. What made that jumper burn out there when everything else is fine? I would have expected a short somewhere on a component, maybe there on the transistor here, but nothing, absolutely nothing. All capacitors, everything is perfectly fine. So here you can see this is the jumper which was burned out. Yeah, it, it looks like they're a little bit corroded, but uh, what sort of material are they using for this kind of uh, boards very interesting. They're even magnetic, so it's not copper. So these seem to be steel jumpers, and yeah, that makes them corrode in our climate and probably uh, then burned out. Going to close the TV again and uh, mount it. It's a wall-mounted uh, screen, and then we are going to check if it's working again. Okay, yeah, all screws are closed. The screen, let's bring it to the guest room uh, where it belongs. Yeah, the TV works again perfectly. This time it was a zero cost repair. Yeah, really surprised. Usually when we have uh, problems, something not working, you always expect 
blown up components, etc. But this was just a piece of metal which failed. I suspect corrosion eating through the metal and then it failed or maybe it was a bad solder connection from the beginning, something like that. But as you see, if you have to go to a repair shop, this can cost you maybe a hundred or more dollars. Depends how they calculate their repairs. Anyway, very nice. Why devices have to be built like that, that they cannot withstand a little bit harsher climate? This is another question, but glad we could fix it. Okay, so short video. I just wanted to show you that there are strange things happening also and uh, we can still do that uh, DIY repairs and it's working again perfect. If you think that uh, this fix with the small wire, I used a 0.3 square millimeter or AWG24. If this is not uh, a good solution, please tell me in the comments. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Yeah, please like and subscribe to the channel. I see you next time.